welcome to our channel wins academy in this video we are going to see electrical fundamental mcq with answers electric motor works on the principle of a electromagnetic induction b laws of motion c electrical conduction d electrical attraction electric motor works on the principle of faraday's law of electromagnetic induction so option a is the right answer which of the following is not an electrical machine a generator b motor c transformer d ic engine generator motor and transformer are electrical devices ic engine is a mechanical device so option d is the right answer which of the following is used to maintain electrical power during power failure a ic engine b motor c generator d transformer we use diesel generator set during power failure or power cut seasons here diesel engine is coupled with generator diesel engine generates mechanical energy generator converts that mechanical energy into electrical energy so option c is the right answer which of the following is used to maintain electrical power during power failure in our home a stabilizer b battery c battery with stabilizer D battery with inverter we use battery backup with inverter to retain electrical supply during power failure so option D is the right answer transformer works on the principle of a induction b conduction c mutual induction d mutual conduction transformer works on the principle of mutual induction between primary and secondary coils so option c is the right answer full form of ac is a alternating coil b alternating current c alternating converter d alternate current ac supply is varying with time abbreviation of ac is alternating current so option b is the right answer full form of dc is a direct coil b directing current c direct conversion d direct current dc supply is not varying with time it is always constant abbreviation of dc is direct current so option d is the right answer electric motor converts a heat energy to mechanical energy b mechanical energy to electrical energy c electrical energy to mechanical energy d electrical energy to heat energy electric motor is a device which is used to convert electrical energy to mechanical energy so option c is the right answer electric generator converts a heat energy to mechanical energy b mechanical energy to electrical energy c electrical energy to mechanical energy d electrical energy to heat energy electric generator is a device which is used to convert mechanical energy to electrical energy so option b is the right answer which device is coupled with generator to generate electrical energy a boiler b turbine c transformer d pump turbine is coupled with generator in electric power generating stations steam turbine is coupled with generator in thermal power plants water turbine is coupled with generator in hydroelectric power plants so option b is the right answer main parts of the transformer are a core b primary winding c secondary winding d all of the above main parts of the transformer are primary winding secondary winding and core so option d is the right answer drilling machine universal motor is used in drilling machines we have seen various motors used in our day to day life if you like this video kindly subscribe like comment share your friends and also press bell button to get future notifications thank you step of current transformers number of turns in secondary winding is a greater than primary b less than primary c equal to primary d none of the above the relationship between number of turns and voltage is directly proportional Similarly, the relationship between number of turns and 
current is inversely proportional. So, number of turns in secondary winding is less than primary winding in case of step down transformers. So, option B is the right answer. Step down current transformers, number of turns in secondary winding is A greater than primary, B less than primary, C equal to primary, D none of the above. Number of turns in secondary winding is greater than primary winding in case of step down current transformers. So option A is the right answer. A step up transformer voltage increases in A primary side, B secondary side, C both sides, D none of the above. Step up transformer voltage increases in secondary side. So option B is the right answer. A step down transformer voltage decreases in A primary side, B secondary side, C both sides, D none of the above. Step down transformer voltage decreases in secondary side. So option B is the right answer. Which parameter of transformer is same in both primary and secondary? A voltage, B current, C frequency, D none of the above. Voltage or current may be vary in both sides. But frequency does not vary in both sides. So option C is the right answer. If there is no loss in a transformer that is called as a practical transformer, B ideal transformer, C step up transformer, D step down transformer. There is no loss in case of ideal transformer. But there is always some loss in case of practical transformer. So practically ideal transformer is not possible. So option B is the right answer. There is no moving or rotating part in A motor, B generator, C transformer, D engine. Motor and generator have rotating parts, but there is no rotating part in a transformer. So option C is the right answer. Transformer works on A AC supply only, B DC supply only. C both DC and AC supply, D none of the above. Transformer works with AC supply only. Transformer cannot work with DC supply. So option A is the right answer. Fleming's left hand rule is used in A motor, B generator, C transformer, D engine. Fleming's left hand rule is applied in motor. So option A is the right answer. Fleming's right hand rule is used in A motor, B generator, C transformer, D engine. Fleming's right hand rule is applied in generator. So option B is the right answer. If DC supply is given to a transformer, it will A work normally, B work slowly, C damage, D work with noise. If DC supply is given to a transformer, it will damage or burst. So option C is the right answer. Full form of EMF is A electromechanical force, B electron motive force, C electrical machine force. D. Electromotive force. Full form of EMF is electromotive force. So option D is the right answer. EMF induced in a transformer is A. Statically induced EMF B. Dynamically induced EMF C. A and B D. None of the above. Transformer is a static device. So EMF induced in a transformer is 
statically induced EMF. So option A is the right answer. EMF induced in motor or generator is A statically induced EMF, B dynamically induced EMF, C A and B, D none of the above. Motor and generator have rotating parts. So EMF induced in motor or generator is dynamically induced EMF. So option B is the right answer. If you like this video, kindly subscribe, like, share your friends and also press bell button to get future notifications. Thank you.